Namaste, mera dosto. Elizabeth Thakur here. Hope you are doing well today. I'm going to watch the Kerala story teaser and give a review afterwards discussing the situation in Kerala. I got a lot of suggestions from social media to watch this, so I'm curious. I hope that it is going to be a good movie and tells the truth about Kerala. So let's go ahead and start the video. मैं नर्स बन के ये लोगों को सर्व करना चाहती थी अब मैं फातिमा बा हूँ एक आईसीस टेररिस्ट इन अफगानिस्तान जेल और मैं अकेली नहीं हूँ मेरे जैसे थर्टी टू थाउजेंड गर्ल्स कन्वर्ट होके सीरिया और यमन के रेगिस्तान में दफन हो चुकी है एक नॉर्मल लड़की को एक खतरनाक टेररिस्ट बनाने का सबसे डेंजरस खेल चल रहा है केरला में और वो भी खुले आम क्या कोई नहीं रोके घर से ये है मेरी कहानी ये है उन बत्तीस हजार लड़कियों की कहानी Unbelievable. This is a really shocking teaser. I do not think that many Hindus know about this much. It makes me think we have a lot of work to do as Hindus because this seems to be the norm nowadays. It just keeps happening. Um, this is like a Hindu genocide happening slowly but surely if we don't try to stop it in the future. I think it's you know, Kerala is such a mystical state in India with so many gorgeous temples. I remember watching this show about India when I was younger about the tiger dance where the people from Kerala would paint themselves elaborately as a tiger and then do a really beautiful dance. There's so much of that type of beauty in Kerala all relating to Hinduism. That is the state's treasure you won't find anywhere else. It is not worth it to lose it like the British tried to deplete India of all its treasures. So too will these magnificent traditions of Kerala be forever lost. I'm very saddened to see these things happen in a place that was once rich in love for life and traditions that are worth more than anything. It is heartbreaking. I saw the Kashmiri files twice and I remember thinking how this could be possible. The truth stayed hidden for a long time. I hope that this movie gets the attention of people and that it has some similar storylines that touch people's hearts because Hindus are waking up. It is time for all of us to. Jay Shri Ram. Well, I want to thank you all for your continued support. I love all of the comments I get as I enjoy hearing what all of you think very much. So please continue to like, share, and subscribe so I can do something for Sanatana Dharma here in America. Please leave me a comment and tell me what you think about this new teaser. I would love to hear your thoughts. Also, Click the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. After all, I'm just an American simply in love with the Indian culture. Ram Ram. Last 10 school student, when this senior cleric, who is a guest of sorts at this event, starts to publicly rebuke them. I'm going to play that out for you in a moment. He starts shouting and scolding them. He tells the organizers that girls should not be invited onto the dais and instead their parents can be invited onto the stage on their behalf. He warns the organizers that they shouldn't be doing such things when he is standing on that stage. Can you believe it? This is India 2022. Kerala's governor Arif Mohammad Khan has strongly criticized this cleric for humiliating this schoolgirl and says that it is sad to know that a young talented woman was humiliated just because she was born into a Muslim family. He further added that this is yet another example of how Muslim clerics continue to 
punish Muslim women and push them into seclusion and suppress their personalities with total impunity. I am saying generally all kind of leadership, social leadership, economic leadership, all leadership, nobody should, it, I consider it a sin to remain silent when your daughters are being humiliated. Here the a young girl, very talented, she has done so